Hello and welcome to this week's The Positive Habit Anxiety Free Stress Free. This week I want to talk about the ego and this is something that I actually uh, broached recently. I was on a really insightful and inspirational uh, meditation retreat weekend with David G who is an American spiritual meditation teacher who has trained uh, in the Chopra Centre. And um, I was really delighted to, to attend his workshop and that weekend because it sort of highlighted something really um, sort of interesting for me on a personal level, which was the idea of our ego, or in particular, my ego, the ego. And I have always seen the ego as something I immediately just connect it with negative, you know, as in they've got a big ego and this is not a good thing. You know, to have an ego is negative. Uh, despite being the positive habit, I do or did, I should say, um, have this perspective. However, David G really did help me to open up my eyes to the idea that the ego is not necessarily uh, a negative thing at all. Um, it's not necessarily a positive thing. It is, in fact, a neutral thing. It is a sense of ourselves, you know, in terms of the choices that we make about ourselves, the decision to have blonde hair or the decision to support a certain football team. And I'd never really looked at it in that very um, quite direct, practical way, which is actually very useful. Um, what I'm interested in is learning more about how you perceive your ego or the ego. And obviously Freud is um, sort of when we think of ego again, we jump to or not jump to, but perhaps associate um, the work of Freud and the super ego and id and the sort of ego being that part that uh, brings those two together. Um, but how can we maintain and develop a really healthy ego? And if I take the word ego away and I simply just use a sense of ourself, that kind of really changes the perspective, at least for me. So please do have a little thought or a little uh, reflection on how you perceive the ego. And like me, do you, or did you, <laughs> I should say, um, immediately jump to this idea that it's something negative and to be a little bit kind of ashamed of if it rises its head, um, equating it perhaps to being selfish or being too big for one's boots or getting a big head, a big ego. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much again to everyone who is um, sharing the blog. It's growing absolutely hugely every single week and it just really allows not my ego, but my heart to be very, very happy. So thank you uh, for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.